The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about the child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told.
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Well, at the beginning of this year, I conducted a series of interviews for a chapel. Uh, and the theme of that chapel was, what are your hopes, what are your New Year's resolutions for 2020? Now, it's interesting thinking back on that because at the time, none of us had any idea just how difficult 2020 would be. For some of you, you've experienced terrible loss. For some of you, it's been disappointment. For some of you, it's been a year of anxiety. But one thing that this year has highlighted to us all is our desperate need for hope, our desperate need for a real hope, a hope that speaks to us at our worst, a hope that brings light into the darkness. Well, the message that Sam just read to us from the Bible reminds us of the hope of Christmas. Speaking of Jesus says this, in him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. You see, Jesus comes as a light into the darkness, this dark world. And in this darkness of despair, he brings the light of hope. And it's this hope that's more than a vaccine. It's more than just wanting to have a comfortable, healthy life. It is the hope of life which death cannot overcome. And there's a very famous uh, carol, which I love, which sadly we haven't sung this year. Hark the herald angels sing. And uh, it, there's a verse really, a line in a verse that really sums up the hope that Jesus brings. It's this, Jesus, speaking of Jesus, has born that man no more may die. That is the wonderful hope. It is the hope of eternal life. A hope that not even a pandemic can take away. A hope that not even death can destroy. And the wonderful news of Christmas is it is a hope that is available to all, available to each one of us if we turn to Jesus and trust in Him and give our lives to Him. That is the wonderful message of Christmas, the hope of life. Amen.
Let me now finish with our blessing. May God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And I hope you have a truly wonderful Christmas.